thank you so much for having me um, and a great presentation from Andrew as well. And I think quite a lot of the things that I'm going to say here will be quite similar, um, but I'm rapidly sort of wondering what I should be doing on LinkedIn as well and uh, how much I'm not doing, which is, uh, which is quite scary. Um, I'm going to give you a bit of a run through. It's a case study on Felsey School and how we use TikTok. Um, I know Alicia is quite keen for this to be a kind of a round table chatty discussion as well. So uh, please, do, please do join in at any time and ask some questions. Uh, and hopefully um, I can answer those for you. Um, a little bit about Felsted School um, and where we are. We're a, a, a four to 18 school, um, ages four to 18, just over 11, uh, 1100 pupils. Um, we're 20% international uh, and we're based on the North Essex countryside, um, about an hour from London uh, and about 45 minutes from Cambridge, an hour from Cambridge. Uh, please do come and visit any time. Please do reach out to me. Um, I'm always happy to collaborate and share ideas with fellow marketeers so um, we, could all, we can all learn from each other. So a little bit about why TikTok and why we, why we joined the platform. Uh, I think for most, um, we, probably, we all have the same ambition. Um, and for us, we, we're keen to develop a brand um, that is recognizably Felsted. That's our, that's our overarching strategic aim um, and to make it uh, an easy choice for families, not just for families for new joining the school, but of course to keep and retain those families as they move through the different phases and ages um, across, across Felsted. Um, the tactics behind this strategy really revolves on um, storytelling uh, and uh, making our stories stand out from the crowd, not against other schools and competitors, but in the noisy space that social media quite, quite often is. So why did we join TikTok and where did it start? Um, I think as a, as a brand, we've always had the ambition to stay ahead of the game um with digital marketing trends and we knew back in late 2020 that tiktok was here to stay and something that we should be taking advantage of um, i think it's fair for me to say now that i was probably in those early exploration stages struggling to see how brands um could use it effectively i i was using tiktok personally but very rarely was i interacting with a brand it was more personal accounts that i was following and i was at the time thinking i'm, I'm, I'm just not sure this is this is the space for us much like perhaps snapchat was seven or eight years ago and even perhaps how facebook and twitter was for the sector 10 15 years ago as Alicia was already uh, already appointed to then we had a few wake-up calls uh the first wake-up call was just analyzing some statistics that were out there at the time um and i've fast forwarded now three years and put some put some stats up on the board here um which hopefully will be good takeaways for you um the statistics were just as frightening back then as they are now um and i would encourage you to have a look at the social shepherd if you can it's a great source of um up-to-date trends um if you ever need to just to check in have a have a, have a check in at what's happening um around the world particularly when it comes when it comes to social media um i think the the one standout stat is probably um 15 million uk tiktok users by 2025 and the probably scary and frightening one is um the average time that children are spending on the app um which i think is now recorded at over 75 minutes per day um and then of course the increase um in interest in spending money and advertising on TikTok has increased a huge amount, 1,125% since 2020. I can't uh, think of anything else that's increased by that, uh, apart from the price of petrol, um, of course. But um, um, apart from that, this is, you know, these, are, these are huge wake up calls for us as marketeers to, to use this software that's available to us. The second, the second wake up call really um, was for us as a team, discovering what was already out there on the platform on TikTok about Felsted. Um, and although at the time the videos were not great, they, they weren't really harming the brand, but what they were doing was representing us and we had no control over that conversation. So for us, it was a bit of a panic that the, our brand was being managed um, on a platform that had these huge numbers associated to it. Um, so really it was a chance for us to jump on board as quick as we can um, before, before things got out of hand. Reputation is hugely important to us as it is amongst any school. Um, over a third of our inquiries now come from current reputation, referrals from um, 
families and students that are already at the school. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we could keep this reputation higher and TikTok seems to be the best way to do that. The launch was a scary time, I think, for myself and for the other members of the team. Um, we had a lot of data available to us. And with the pressures and the external factors relating to the pandemic, we decided that the, uh, the time was right for a TikTok launch. Um, it was the right thing to do at the time. Um, and I know there's schools that are still quite wary about doing it, um, but uh, it, it's, it has worked well for us. And I'm glad that we've made that, we've made that jump. Um, since April 2021, we've posted around 94 TikTok videos um, with the goal to get to 100 by our two year um, anniversary. Um, so averaging around one per week over, over the last two years. Um, we become TikTok millionaires this year, uh, not in money at all. Um, I wouldn't be sitting here if we were TikTok millionaires in money, um, but we have generated over a million views of content. Um, however, I would like to stress that's incredibly small fry for TikTok, um, that we are just a tiny, 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 tiny part in that. Um, but it's, it's important to us because it's, it's all organic traffic, it's traffic that we haven't paid for. Um, you could put together a pay-per-click campaign and reach those numbers um, relatively straightforwardly on other platforms. Um, but for us, and improving and building on the school's reputation to, um, to engage and to put our content in, out in front of people that many times um, was uh, a big a big step and uh, a big reward for us as a department. Um, I mentioned previously that we're, we're aiming to create a brand that is recognizably felsted. Um, so I wanted to give you a, just a little bit of a run through about what we do behind the scenes and how we do that. Um, our TikTok strategy really centers on bringing the stories of Felsted to our internal school community. Um, I would love to sit here and say that TikTok has resulted in an extra 10 or 15 prospectus inquiries a, a month, or we've had um, an increase in open day registrations because of TikTok. I can't do that, but what I can say um, is that it's brought a real feel good factor around the brand, uh, a real sense of fun, a real sense of welcoming content. And, we're showing elements at the school that perhaps haven't been shown before um, and bringing those stories to life. Um, we try to put as much creativity and emotion behind our stories as well. Um, from the chefs cooking up the, uh, um, the favorite school meal to the groundsmen working outside. Um, for us as marketeers in the department, working on perhaps something new, focusing on lessons, art, sport, music, the boarding elements of the school, which is hugely important to us as well. And just trying to bring as many of those stories to life as, as we can. Um, I think it's fair to say that each, each video is a show don't tell moment. It's content that we, you know, we struggle to display in any form of written uh, media. And what TikTok is allowing us to do is uh, just to push the boundaries on visual creativity. Um, it's not always been straightforward. Um, you know, I think after the buzz of launching in April, uh, 2021, we perhaps found ourselves slipping back into treating TikTok as an afterthought, um, much as we, much as perhaps we were doing back in 2010 with Facebook and Twitter, I would say. Um, but we've, in the last probably nine, ten months, I would say, we've we've had a bit of a shift, and it's now, it's now a formal part of our communications planning in our in our weekly meetings. Um, we have a saying, a saying in the department: is this, is this piece of content talkable? Uh, and if it is, then uh, we'll be we'll be out to see how much that we can capture and how much that we can transform into a trending TikTok video. Um, we challenge ourselves not to just post our TikTok content across all other channels. I think it's I think we are learning that TikTok content is suitable for TikTok and perhaps sometimes not other channels um, and vice versa. Staff input has been um, incredibly important to us as well um, and making sure that we have them on board and presenting a similar presentation as this to them to understand the why that we are doing it and that how valuable um, storytelling is to us. And it's, it's, it's not for everyone as well. And I said, you know, we were, we, we were probably were a little bit scared as a brand at the beginning, but um, we, are, we are now fully enjoying uh, what we're doing there. I've mentioned about making our content recognizably felsted um, and how we want to make it stand out from the crowd. Um, and we've had some videos gaining over 250,000 views, but we've had some videos gaining just a couple of hundred as well. So we are learning on our feet all the time, trying to work out what's working, what's not working. 
Um, trending audio um, is a fantastic way to start if you haven't started um, with TikTok, and I'm more than happy to go into that um, if, uh, um, uh, 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 another time or perhaps in a Q&A session as well. Um, my big advice there is to, to do be careful with choosing those uh, sometimes uh, incredibly annoying TikTok tracks um, that you have to spend a bit of time going through just to make sure that the lyrics are clean. Uh, and to make sure that um, you're happy for your brand to be associated with perhaps other trends that are associated to those tracks. It is a bit of a minefield and I'm, I'm happy to offer some insight into, in, into how we do that. Moving trends, voiceovers and dances are also incredibly, um, incredibly useful to use. Um, I haven't starred in a dance video yet and I don't intend to, um, uh, but there are many other uh, members of the team around the school that are willing to do that. Um, we haven't quite we haven't quite gone viral with a TikTok dance yet, but it definitely is something in the plan, uh, I believe, for the summer term. Um, uh, we just haven't told the people that are going to be doing it yet. Um, and as I said, it's important to have that staff buy in as well and to make sure that you've got people that want to come on that journey with you um, to, to get to get the best possible uh, results from the platform. Just thinking about future proofing and. I know Andrew mentioned this earlier on, and I think it's really, really important. And these two slides now go quite well together. Um, of course, of course, AI, ChatGPT, um, it, it, they perhaps are changing the, um, the sector, how, how schools work, but also how marketeers operate as well. What, what we're finding is that it, it has actually become a bit of a game changer for us. Um, we're exploring the two, the two pieces of software that are on the screen at the moment, ChatGPT for text creation and Dahl E for um, image creation. But what this is doing for us is this actually giving us more ambition to work harder um, with short form video. Uh, we're discovering that actually the advances of AI and are making us think more strategically and accelerating our ambition to create more video because as amazing as these two pieces of software are they can't yet provide you that real-time visual experience of the school so of course you can ask chat gpt for its opinion you can ask for it to write something for you but it can't then show you the behind the scenes video yet I, i'm sure there's going to be content coming soon i'm sure there's going to be software coming soon that is going to be creating our school marketing videos for us but at the moment it's accelerating our ambition because it can't do that and it's short form video is it's offering us that opportunity to stand out from the crowd um, and to tell the Felsted story in perhaps a way that we haven't told it before. I, and I think that demand for short form video will ultimately increase. Um, and that's, that's kind of really our ambition and where we're going with it is to try and do as much as we possibly can, um, as well as juggling everything else. Um, and I think what was what's fair to say as well is when we when we did launch, we perhaps didn't quite understand the pressures and the times that it would take to produce these videos and it is very time consuming so when we launched we made we we started off with a bank of 10 or 15 10 or 15 videos ready to go before before we actually hit launch on the channel and then as i said before we just found ourselves in a bit of a lull period um so i think planning is really key and i think um for us it's listening to listening to our audience here it's working with the students, working with the staff that are engaged in TikTok and really trying to trying to get some ideas out of them and how they want to see the school scene on the channel. Um, and then we can work together. And we've had some real wins with working with pupils as well and bringing their ideas to the table. And that's something that we're definitely going to be doing more of um, as we move forward. Um, and something that hopefully I can, I can encourage everybody to do. Um, Apologies, I've had to I've had to pick up the pace a little bit on this presentation because I know we were running out of time. But I'm I'm one, I'm I'm just going to stop sharing my screen uh, for one moment. Um, and if there's any questions, then um, Alicia, I'm happy for you to field those to me.